Hello and welcome back to your next episode. I'm Louise. And I'm Amy. Look at us, Louise. Just we're flying against the all the rules of we're just gonna we're just gonna do just, a podcast on our own. We're just doing it on our own. We've done one on our own before though. Do you remember a couple and of weeks ago? And the response was overwhelmingly. As I was positive. telling Paul this morning, and then he said, What do you mean the feedback was fantastic? He said, Was that like reviews and things, or was it just like, like text from your mates? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, it was just text from my mates, but they don't even normally bother texting me, you know, and they just sort of go, oh, yeah, I enjoyed it. That's 100% um, positive feedback. Though. Yeah, and, um, you know, we uh, we are going to have more guests, but, I mean, the uh, the only reason we haven't is because we haven't actually got around to asking anyone to be on the podcast yet um, for a while, have we? We were approached approached by another person, though, so we have got a guest coming up. I'm not going to say who it is, you know, because I don't like to say anything until it's recorded. Do you know what I love? I love doing a production meeting within the podcast yes. episode. <laughs> <laughs> that that's I think that's what we should do yeah, uh, yeah, from absolutely. now on absolutely uh, but we are going to I'm going to well, I, I think I texted you this morning Amy and said um, I want to rant about the um, Martin Bashir you know well, the independent yes, inquiry this hot, yes hot. because this, hap- this happened yesterday we're recording right now and we're going to put it out today mm. hopully uh, but before that can you please tell us about the very exciting event well I mean obviously compared to the ping pong game that is the public relations of the royal family <laughs> uh, you know, it may not seem like big news but gigs are opening up again as you may know I'm a stand up comedian or uh, trying to be uh, oh, so you are. I, uh, sorry no Pretty let's do that again uh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm yeah. only joking you don't need to cut this out this is me <laughs> working through the process of being uh, you know being more life affirming and saying I'm a fucking stand up yes, comedian for yes. God's sake okay. um, so gigs are opening up again and there's a very exciting uh, gig happening um, especially because it's uh, you know it's a little bit localized, but mm. anybody can be uh, stream into it anywhere yeah. on the seventeenth of June. Big names as well, yeah. Go Rich on. Wilson, right. yeah. friend of the show, of the show. Jen Brister, incredible. Mm headlining comedian brilliant mm-hmm. and um clinton baptiste who is a character comedian and is is phenomenal and brilliant and was in phoenix nights mm-hmm. um and then um there's a there's a, a, a another uh act on uh, and she oh she is phenomenal i've heard and- about her <laughs> It's me. I follow her on Instagram. It's Amy me, Cooper guys. forms. Amy Cooper forms. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, you know, listen. Either way, it's a win-win because if it goes really well, then I'm going to be coming back and talking about it. But if it goes badly, I just think it could be car crash mm. type TV or, or car crash material where it, it would just be like it was horrific and it was my worst nightmare. I always feel a bit like. Um, you know, it's funny because uh, my husband and I went away last night. He will actually kill me for saying this, but no, nobody, none of his colleagues listen. And you know that pressure, you're going away, there's a hotel room, oh, it's happening, pressure, yeah, I mean, pressure, oh, pressure, fuck. and then yeah. can you perform or not? And, and I'm just drawing a parallel with being on stage with these huge hitters in the comedy um, space. So 17th of June, Dark Horse Digital, go and get your tickets there and the links will be um, in the bio. And actually, there's lots of things happening um, in, in in mostly London so if you are listening to this uh, not in London you can always just um, get, get me 24-7 on, on yeah. the Instagram you're totally available <laughs> aren't you completely <laughs> Slottily available. So I will put, yeah, links in the show notes um, for that. So, um, you know, um, and it, today um, I am going to be ranting about um, she's Prince really William. Good. She, guys, like, she's you know, really stoked up about I'm, this story. I, like, uh, you know, that literally snivelling puppet on a string, William. I mean, he knows what side his bread's buttered on, I tell you that. But um, so I'm going to be talking about that. So if you don't, you know, if you're a big fan of Prince William, um, then perhaps don't listen or listen and, 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 and get engage your with in a me. twist. Engage with me. I said, I'd like that. I'd, you know, I'm really up for a row about this <laughs> with anyone who disagrees with me, basically. Um, but anyway, how are you, Amy, today on this fine um, November afternoon? <laughs> Because it's howling wind and rain out there. Well, not rain, not rain, but wind. It's yeah, freezing. I mean, I just, it's funny, isn't it? This time last year, when you know the lockdown had, had really sort of got its claws into us, but we had that beautiful sort of uh, heat wave. Yeah, and it was like, oh well, at least we've got this. And now it's like, we, you know, things are opening up. Can we book a holiday away? Well, the Europeans are telling us to do it, but the British government are saying don't. <laughs> you know, like, and, and and but we're just desperate for some sun. But yes, I'm I'm good. good. I'm good. Good. I'm good. Well, should we get straight into what I want to talk about then? Do it. I don't want to make. I mean, but I do tend to make it all about me. So <laughs> um, let's just yeah, let's just make it about me let's and what it. I want to talk about. But I would like your thoughts. I am happy to be corrected if because I'm, I'm really feeling quite quite cross about this. So I want to discuss the 
findings and, well, more the subsequent reactions um, of the independent inquiry published yesterday into the conduct of Martin Bashir in securing the Panorama interview with Princess Diana 25 years ago, which everyone remembers. Um, And it turns out that, yes, Martin Bashir used underhand tactics and was deceitful. And surprise, surprise, the BBC covered it up. Um, You know, I mean, I don't know why we're so surprised um, about this because, I mean, they stayed... Oh, there's my phone. Professional. That's very unprofessional. Sorry, Get that on silence. Uh, because, <laughs> let's face it, the BBC stayed stum for another 17 years after this interview about Jimmy Savile. So, um, yes. And I think it's clear that, you know, there, there was a whole line of executives who acti- actively buried this at the time and since. Um, and there's, uh, there's a lot of talk about the BBC being viewed by the public as having high standards and integrity. But I question that i mean 25 years ago maybe the public was stupid enough to think that but you know um uh, so first of all i think you know the bbc and martin bashir did what they had to do to secure that interview because the stakes were high and maybe that wouldn't happen now but i think only because it would be so much harder to get away with it not because the bbc is now peopled with upright honorable characters Mm. um um, it is what it is, and I don't really understand the outrage. Um, and you know, I worked at the BBC years ago, and the attitude then was, what can we get away with? Uh, you know, morals didn't really come into it. Mm. Um, but anyway, so the press is up in arms squawking about honesty and transparency. But so far this morning, I haven't seen anything in the press, but maybe I've just missed it, um, anyone pulling up... Prince William on his statement last night in reaction to all this and they've wheeled him out and as I say he knows what side of the of what side his bread's buttered on um so I've got a couple of issues with things that he bleated on about last night so um shall I shall I just shall I just go ahead yeah and... I mean, you say his statement yeah who's written that well, precisely who he He's you're right puppet. I mean a bit like a bit like the Queen sat there at, at her husband's funeral um, yeah. In that, it's the, these are just power moves from what mm. I can see. Mm. But go on, let's let's dissect it. Let's okay. It All right. So I'm going to play you the first clip. It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse. So discuss Uh, i think that the fact that your dad was shagging camilla throughout much of your parents marriage substantially influenced what your mother said william uh would would you agree yeah and it's just really interesting because she's not here to say no darling it didn't quite happen like that i mean i know that martin was a little bit sneaky i know i mean i wonder what her view would be of this i mean we could get clinton baptiste to actually talk with her beyond the grave and see it (laughs) was See what her view would be. But I, I, it's interesting that she's not here to say it didn't quite happen like that. I wasn't manipulated. No. And so I'm I'm pretty, I have to say, I'm really uncomfortable with him. You know, so I think, yeah, you know. How old would he have been, Louise, uh, he in 1995? Been... Was he, well, he was... He was he was a child, yeah, is what he I'm was saying. A child, yeah. So for him to say this in a sort of like, I'm a four... It, yeah. it smacks of... Um, you know, children who do put their parents on this pedestal where they cannot do, they can't mm. do any wrong. Mm. Mm. But I, and I think that's being quite kind towards him. Um, I think, I think he's really throwing his mon- mother under a bus, you know, implying that like, oh, she she was like some sort of idiot that didn't know what mm. she was saying. Um, you if know, we, if we also look at the sort of how this plays with the Ma- Harry and Meghan mm. situation, the, the, this, this is sort of like, look, you see, we're not all bad. Mm. You know, look, look how we've been deceived by this institution that we all know and love and pay our licence fee mm. towards. I mean, mm. they've really picked a battle with the BBC mm. there, haven't mm. they? Oh, absolutely. Um, and I think, so, you know, as I say, you know, he says it, it substantially it substantially influenced what his mother said. and um, But... But, you know, let's not forget that, you know, obviously Charles was shagging Camilla throughout that marriage. Also, Charles had done an interview a year earlier in which he admitted adultery. That might have had some sway on what mm-hmm. Diana decided to, to share. Um, and also, let's not forget that transcript of... Um, oh, yes. Uh, ...recorded six years earlier of that bedtime com- bedtime conversation between... Charles and Camilla, where he wished he could be her tampon. Um, wow. You know, I simply just don't buy that this 
interview either was you know was a major contribution to making his parents relationship worse that that relationship it's a, was it's a stretch, dead in the water isn't it yeah, yeah. i mean you know, long before that you know martin bashir who was just a rookie journalist at the time you know came along um and i as i say i to suggest otherwise feels like a sloppy attempt once again by the royal family to gaslight the public mm. um and you know it's something that william is is sort of playing along with so. it's interesting that because it's unusual for this a senior member of the royal family to kind of get involved with this sort of mudslinging thing i mean i know obviously it, it, it it's been an investigation so it is but the timing of it i mean i, I don't know if i'm just cynical are we just cynical um no i don't think we are I'm really surprised that they think they'll get away with this. Let me ask you, your your parents, yeah. have you spoken to them about this? No, no. It'd be I'm interesting sorry. to yeah. see if they're like, well, look, he, he's he's set it all out and that's exactly the way that it was. That that was what? that that mm. Because also, I mean, it does lead into the, the narrative of like how Diana died. Yeah. And, and, and it, it, so it, it's, it's not a standalone thing. There's so many outreaching webs that this all is a part. It's a bigger picture, yeah. isn't it? I know, absolutely. And, and, and the fact that he says, like, it should not be aired again. Well, that's one of, you know, like, in, in it's one of the campest moments of the eyes. Yeah. And, that, you know, it, it's like a, mm. it's mm. like a, a very famous thing, her sitting there saying, there were three yeah. of us in this marriage. Yeah. I mean, that, that will be used forevermore. Yeah, of course, of course. And I think it is pretty clear, and I think the um, inquiry has you know, concluded this as well, that it was that it's clear that Princess Diana would have given this interview to someone, mm. you know, with or without those fake d- bank statement documents, mm. which I gather that she, at- she actually never, never saw. It was her people that saw that. Her brother, Just yes. to sort of... Um, so it was it was bank statements and it was obviously it wasn't emails because it was before emails. So, so what the, uh, those the, th- these were documents that were almost like, come on, speak to us because this is what they're doing. Yeah, that's apparently what he showed her, her brother. Um, but but yeah, the, as this this um, inquiry concludes, you know, she would have given the interview anyway. She was up for it. Mm. She wanted to do she wanted that. To speak and we mind. all know the reasons yeah. why she wanted yeah. to do it. And we know that, yeah, you know, or at least I feel. Well, I think we do know that she really, you know, spoke her truth. It, you know, in that interview. Mm. Because was, she wasn't being heard within the family. Yeah. She wasn't being supported or helped or Precisely. Heard. And you look at yeah, what had gone on before that for quite a long time. Mm. Um, and that interview was very considered. It wasn't done in a, you know, a, a fit of rage. Um, and I just feel that, like, I, I don't have a very high opinion of William anyway. Mm. I really, really don't. I mean... Like his father and his father before him, William is a serial shagger. And, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree there. Should I say allegedly here so we don't need to cut that in later? Uh, I mean, there it is. It, <laughs> there you well, go, lawyers. Yeah. And, you know, and it has. And I think, you know, Harry has talked very openly about the dark deals between the British press and the royals. Mm. And that is something that William and Kate very much go along with. And so I just... And I just think he's clearly prepared to throw his mother's reputation under the bus to protect his interests. That mm. that's what you know. This is all about. I think you know. So he's so he's just so firmly entrenched in the mm. firm. Mm. In in that. I mean, it's a it's a business, mm. isn't it? It's an enterprise. Yeah. It, the, the monarchy. At the end of the day, it, you know, it is. Mm. And so he he's the shop front at the moment for for you know, coming out and saying these things. Yeah. Um, it, 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 uh, yeah, I just, um, I think, you know, he also refers in that statement to a false narrative. Um, and so, and, and again, no, that the narrative of that interview was Diana's narrative. Mm. And as I say, it was her truth. And the notion that Bashir had somehow cajoled her into saying what she did. I mean, you're right. That is gaslighting. Twenty five yeah. years later, yeah. on on a on quite a sophisticated scale, isn't it? It is. If we're all going to bloody fall for yeah. it, um, and you know, I I suppose you're also towards the end. Um, he implies this, and again, it just feels like, oh, come on, we're not stupid, but 
but I suspect lots of people will fall for it. Mm. There's this kind of like, oh, we're all in this together. We've all been deceived because um, he refers to the BBC's failings as letting his mother down, his family down and letting the public down too. Um, and I just think surely nobody is stupid enough to swallow that bullshit. You mm. know, it is, it's really clear you know what what that is you know yeah i mean i guess there is a thing and again you can almost um you you can you can hear the um the hem sniffers and the you know the the those people who are sort of like you know you right on abroad you know mm. your, your royal highness and um the future king of this country come and uh, gracing us with our presence and and talking talking to uh, the common people mm. about the sharing his yeah. heart, you know you're right it's it, that, like it is very but, much but kind of like it's it's, it's so all tone of deaf isn't deceived. it it's yeah. so tone deaf right now because we're like what yeah what the fuck <laughs> you know no <laughs> but of course you know there are certain certain pre- press are lapping this up because mm. it because it feeds. because it's the other side it's the uh rivalry between yes. the BBC and, and harry has also made a statement um but that's not going to be you like hailed by the tabloids so much because he makes it clear in that that not much has changed as regards media behaviour so that won't be um, as popular Mm. but it does feed into you know like um, their narrative of Diana being like you know a bit dipsy a bit sort of faltering and unable to make her own decisions Mm. and that's the same way that they portray Harry now as you were saying earlier you know like oh he can't can't make his own decisions he's he's been lured by the he's been manipulated by that bitch you know Um, whereas from what I can see I mean, again, we're talking about such privileged people in privileged positions here, aren't we? But he he does seem to have untangled himself from this web and is hopefully... You yeah. know, living living a better. Although th- th- I should say, this is the week that he is. Um, he he's done another interview with uh, so that Oprah dropped about overnight about, on about, Apple TV. Have you got Apple TV? Amy? Do you know what I have? Yes, should so I have watch I. that? I haven't watched it yet because no. it came overnight. I didn't have time for that this morning, but I'm going to very much enjoy that and sit down. And again, I've heard people going, "Oh well, you know, I haven't seen it, but I've heard bits of it about his, you know, the, the, his mental health issues because of." Mm. You know the royal family yeah, and the amount of drinking that he did yeah. to, to sort of mm. escape from the shit. But show, I've heard it on Twitter. I've seen a couple of people on Twitter saying, um, "Oh well, surely with his connections, he could have got hold of a um, a therapist to talk to." And mm. and I just think, well, there's quite a lot going on there. You know, security, trust issues, the fact mm. that the royal family would have been dead against that. Mm. And at that point, he was trying to still make that work. And what are these people saying? Are they saying that he's lying and that he didn't have mental health issues mm. um, and that he was really supported by the royal family? I, I don't, you know, I, I, none of it, it, I don't know. It. I just, and I'm really stunned that that there are so many people, it seems, who are gullible enough. Or perhaps it's just, that's what they want to, that's what they want to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and talking about the um, so and this, this there was something else that um, William said so I've got another little clip here um, where he was talking about who, who failed her and um, and it just made me sort of think about Harry again and the um, allegations he's making about being failed by his family mm. she was failed not just by a rogue reporter but by leaders of the BBC who looked the other way rather than asking the tough questions. Okay, so that was that. Mm. So, um, so, but no question of like that, who, who failed her? You know, who was failing her at that time? Yeah. I, you know, it's funny because I was listening to the BBC Radio 4 on the way over here. So it's quite interesting to hear that they were sort of saying that um, the BBC has been notorious over the years for um, not supporting whistleblowers, for sort of... Um, very much steering whistleblowers towards not blowing mm. the whistle. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? Mm. That, um, you know, he... And that just that use of language as well, it saddens me. Yeah. It saddens <laughs> me and it should sadden you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I know, I know. Um, I, I just, I really, I'm really, really unimpressed with that uh, from from Prince William but I'm not surprised because mm. as I say I I really just I, I think 
you know, him and Kate have, they've got their eye on the prize. Mm. Um, I mean, that's what saddens me, that they are the future of this, <sighs> of this, of this thing, um, and which just feels so outdated. I know. Doesn't it? You know, do you think it, we should just get rid of the royal family? I mean, I do. I, I, I just, I think that uh, people talk about tourism, don't they? And yeah. that being the generator of it. But um, they would still come and see the palace. Yeah, the tourists would still would. come and see the palaces. They'll mm. still come and see the big furry hats and yeah. the horses. So, yeah, do we need an entire sort of hierarchy, mm. hierarchy of monarchy and the money that goes towards them Mm. um you know i'm feeling more in my socialist leanings as i'm getting older why is it that you know so many people are fucking struggling Mm. um and then and then we have this thing where you know someone just happened to come out of someone's vagina 400 years ago (laughs) that that makes them a hrh it is madness louise isn't it it is isn't it i know yeah so um yeah so that that's that's food for thought wow it is, um, but I think you'll find that I am right. So <laughs> <laughs> that, that should just be the tagline on, on everything. I think yeah, you'll find that I, I am right. You'll find that I am right. It, 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 it does. It does demonstrate a. Uh, it's quite. It's quite an interesting um, misjudgment of of the tone. Yeah. F- from from where I'm sitting, but but who knows? It, you know, if if th- there may be people who are sort of uh, like you say, lapping that up. Oh, there will be. There will be. There, you know, like all the people that were weeping over Prince Philip and mm. watching his funeral. And it wasn't and... enough coverage. No. Why are you complaining <laughs> that it was too much? It wasn't enough. <laughs> Not enough coverage. I know. <laughs> I know. And you know. And I, I, you know, I know that you know that some of my friends will very much disagree with me on all of that. Mm. Um, and that doesn't make them bad, but it just makes them wrong. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mean we can't be friends, no. but it does mean yeah. that, um, you know, I, I think it's interesting, isn't it? Because like, we're sort of women in our 40s, 50s, 50s. Me, Amy, so, yeah. so let's say sort of 25 years ago, yeah. women in I, their 40s and 50s were. were it, it's just amazing how much has changed in in this generation, mm. isn't it? Mm. And I, and you know, I think that it. I, I do think that if you were sort of if if right now you are between 20 and 30, I think that your views will pretty much align with what we've just said, which is mm. I'm calling bullshit yeah. on this. Yeah, it's it's like, we, are we so media savvy? Are we so cynical? Yeah, uh, that, that it's like oh no, I can uh, we can tell when we're being manipulated to think a certain way, mm. but it, mm. yeah, it's just it's just interesting that um, it, yeah, it it, it it it's almost like it doesn't wash anymore. No, 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 I know, and you know, I would have you know twenty years ago, I would have been lapping up Prince mm. William's statement. And, yeah. yeah, oh look at him, he's got a nice V neck, yeah. doesn't he? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. Do you know what I am thinking? How is this going to play out in season 17 of The Crown? <laughs> that, that, you, the, the Crown is where I just... Uh, that's that's all of my... Where I'm, that, that's my yeah. sort of um, research material. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, it would be interesting to see. In fact, much closer to home, which mm. would probably be the next season, is where Diana will have that interview with Bashir. Oh, yeah, that'll be in The it, Crown that'll be in next, the next season. season. <gasps> if not the next, then the next after that. So it's, it's quite no, interesting. They're only doing one more, aren't they? Oh. Yeah, they're only doing one more. He's not taking it. Um, He's not going to take it for like not, to current day. No, no, unfortunately no. not. Because <clears throat> how do you cover the uh, Andrew, Andrew Epstein the, stuff? Andrew yeah. thing. Yeah, I know. That's the other thing, isn't it? It's like look over here. Yes. Look over here at this. Yes. Not there. No, 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 no. Don't look in that dark place there. No, no. no. Look over yeah, here. Yeah. And it is. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's smoke and mirrors, that, isn't, isn't it? it? As well. Oh, talking of um, Epstein um, and Andrew. Um, you know, Bill Gates and his wife are divorcing. Yes. And have you read like what's coming out now? Oh, like one of the things that she was very unhappy about was Bill Gates' relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Right. They were mates. Oh. Yeah. You bet your life he was on paedophile. Oh, and, my yeah, God. As a visitor. I mean, like, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's quite interesting. Again, allegedly <laughs> for any lawyers. <laughs> well, it's listening. not even allegedly. I'm just that's just me that's, surmising. That's coming out. No, I've made that clear. I'm just saying, I, I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess she she uh, there's so much we don't know, isn't there? There's so much yeah. that we don't know. Yeah. And I don't think Bill Gates is the is the knight in shining armour. We've all been led to to believe that he is either. So, um, 
Yeah, well, we'll, 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 we'll wait wait for that one to unfold. That'll be very interesting. The other thing I'm really looking forward to, just talking about Jeffrey Epstein, is Ghislaine Maxwell. When is the court mm. case starting? When is that happening? Yeah, yeah. You know, because that's going to be live on Sky, surely. Sky News, you know. I, I can imagine you sat there with three days worth of popcorn well, <laughs> just to sustain that so you don't need to leave I, the, I remember the two other um, occasions. When, um, what's his name? Uh, OJ Simpson was on mm. trial. <clears throat> I had had um, a back operation and I was laid up for about three months. Oh, and, brilliant timing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> and that was at the point where I remember a, a portion of that, literally I could do nothing but lie on my bed all day and I just would watch the mm. um, live that caught thing the rolling yeah terribly exciting and then there was another time when the kids all went away skiing with Paul um, and I had a week to myself and it tied in with oh who was the runner guy um, um uh, Pistorius that's it okay with his court trial yeah. um again which also is so I'm really hoping that this Ghislaine Maxwell thing could we, falls could in. we align it with an injury of uh, yours yeah. so that or you are... if not perhaps I'll just say like to everybody my friends my family any work commitments I've got I'm, out of office yeah I'm taking a sabbatical <laughs> yeah I'm out of office um and just sit sit and watch that because that is going to be really exciting stuff you know I just yeah. I love it you know all of that so no I mean there's so there's so many again it's like that thread mm. it, so many people oh, could yeah, just yeah, be yeah. pulled down and look they're all cis white straight <laughs> Um, men, yeah, and members of our royal family, <laughs> and members of our royal family. I mean, what, what a what a shit show. Me- meanwhile, like I said before, you know, not to get too politically ranty, but but meanwhile, people people are really fucking struggling, mm. aren't they? Mm. You know, uh, yeah, it's it, yeah. Oh, look, a bit of sincerity from me, God. Mm. Um, <laughs> Don't know, what, don't know what's wrong with me. So, um, what? So, has anything else grabbed your attention this week? Anything that you wanted to talk about? Because I know I did sort of say, oh, let's get together and then message you and go, this is what I want to talk about. Well, do you know what's changed my <laughs> life? And it's not quite as important what you, as what you've been talking about. Um, I've changed the font size on my phone, oh, Louise. Oh, have you enlarged it? I've enlarged yeah, it. Yeah, and, and I used to You're look at my, I used to look over, over the shot of my mum's shoulder when she was looking. At, you know, if we were like trying to arrange something, I'd say, "Mum, that is clown size." Yeah. Yes, font yeah, yeah. now yeah. I'm there with the uh, because I found that if I'm taking my phone mm. somewhere the glasses have to come with me because well, I can't yeah. fucking see no. the phone without my glasses <clears throat> no font size up Bob's your yeah. uncle and, well and, yeah. that's what I did and I'm probably about your age because I'm a little bit older uh, did exactly the same um, I'm now at the stage where I have to have my glasses and this morning I couldn't find them and I thought, right, and I really needed to get on my phone and look at something. And I thought, right, I could just get on the phone and, and quickly make the font size bigger until I find my glasses. But I couldn't because I couldn't see what I was... Because I needed the glasses... <laughs> to get the settings. To, to get the settings. To get the right toggle. Oh I, and it used to be God. that I could hold my phone like at arm's length away from my face. But not that doesn't work That's anymore now. Thing. So I was like, I'm really, really stuck. And I had to just like run around the house. And I found them, you know, in the end. But um, yeah, that's just... It, ha- it has yeah. been life changing. I know it's not. It's not as. Um, it's not as, you know, important mm. um, in, in the grand scheme of things. But it is. <laughs> it's just a little thing, and it's yeah. the little things, isn't it? It is the little things. Little things. It, it that... really is. It is. Yeah. That, yeah. And that's. You're going to enjoy that. For I give you perhaps about 18 months two years before you have to worry about that again uh, well, and take it to experience. a bigger font size I mean at one point at some point there's just going to be one letter one letter on the screen <laughs> that's how big and to read an email I would just be sitting there letter by letter like Morse fucking code <laughs> trying to put it together oh, oh my when God. I look at my bio on my Instagram um, I want it to just like, if, I, in. if I change it yeah I'm like oh that why doesn't it why can't you see the whole thing but then if I look at it on like Someone my son's phone I'm like, oh, oh, it's all there. You know, it's just on my phone. It's so enormous that it just says. <laughs> Is this a sign that we shouldn't really be on? We shouldn't be on social media, and we shouldn't God. have smartphones. No, of course, it's not. No, 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 okay. no. We're fine. We're fine. I think no. We're we're definitely. Oh, you know, old people now who haven't got smartphones aren't. There's all the business about the vaccine. Um, you know, the vaccine passport, and that's going to be a digital thing. You right. have it on your smartphone. What? But all the old people, no. some of them have, lots of them haven't got smartphones. Yeah. And that's going to mean that they're stuck. I saw somewhere, somebody reporting, somebody tweeted something about with a photograph of an old man sitting in, I think it was a Weatherspoons. Um, and because he didn't have a phone to... He couldn't order. He couldn't drink. order. And the waiting staff were just like ignoring him. And in the end, these people helped him. Um 
And I just think, oh, you know, so no, we definitely need our smartphones. We need to keep up with technology. Yeah, we do, we do. I mean, maybe we just have bionic eyes put in. Yeah, I, I mean, know. you're keeping up, I know, big time because you're on Clubhouse and you're fully embracing that. I and am. I know that because I get an alert every time you're oh, on it. Oh, turn the fucking no, notifications no, off. because I like it. I'm like, look at her. What's she she's doing? What's back she doing? on Clubhouse well, do you again. know what I'm doing? But I haven't managed. It's never a time when I can dive in. So, you know. Um, yeah, but, I mean, I mean it, it, it is yet another app mm. to get your mind around um but i am i'm enjoying it and um i'm it's interesting and it's quite good for research i mean whatever Mm. whatever industry it is you're in whatever you do go on clubhouse and search it in the toggle there will be something there will either be a discussion happening about it and if there's not then you make that discussion. Yeah. Have you, you, you done that yet? Hosted a room, Amy? So I've hosted a room. How um, many people th- those people who do um, join <laughs> my Instagram um, uh, will see the footage of that, that I uh, uh-huh. I was doing a room and it was it was just me in the room, ah! Louise. But, um, you know, I, I can go oh, into I a room that. and fucking entertain myself. Um, you know, I, I walk around my house talking to myself most of the time. Why not do it on an app? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> How long did you stick it out? No, I, I was there for about sort of 10 minutes bro, yeah. before I thought, right, I, I am I am just literally here <laughs> talking to myself, waiting for something to happen. But I think <gasps> a bit like all of these apps, you've mm. got to use them more, yeah, you've got to, to engage. network more, you've to, got engage, to engage, to get more people to see what engage, you're doing. Engage, engage, engage. Yeah, that I, is, I would I invite the... you to ask the question when you saw a notification saying that <laughs> I was on there, why well, you didn't fucking join me in the room? In fact, should we do a podcast on the, th- on the <sighs> again, production meeting on the podcast? Well, this is what, this is the direction I mean, it would we're just be. In. We wouldn't care if nobody came because no, we just, this is what we do. Can we do that, Paul? Paul, um, can we record off... Can we do that on Clubhouse and then play it out or would that not work? I don't know, I've never been on Clubhouse. Oh, God. We'll work that out, ladies we'll and gentlemen. Out, yeah. Listen, have a great yeah. uh, day, afternoon, weekend, wherever you are. Yeah, um, and uh, we'll be back uh, in a couple of weeks with an actual guest because, we, yeah, as I say, we were approached by somebody, which was very exciting. We're on the map, uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> literally. We don't have to go chasing around anymore. Do you know what? I always hear other people say this on their podcast. Do like, do oh, subscribe, do, do rate, it. because yeah. I think we forget I mean, to fucking say it, but oh, do it and help us out. Please do it. And don't think, oh, yeah, I will do that later. Do it right now. Right, okay. that's it. We're going to end on this. Do it now. Go! <laughs> <laughs> A podcast from producer paul.co.uk. Listed.